we have um, nine minutes and counting to our first match. Nine minutes. I'm looking forward to it. I actually can't wait. Walford is an interesting map. Everybody tonight, no matter what stream you watch, guys, wherever you're watching it, whoever you're watching fight, whatever fights are going on, there's a couple of fights going on just now. Um, tonight, that we'll be starting up in Group B and Group A. So it's split into two groups. Two groups will be fighting. Um, and there is six teams in each group. Um, so tonight, you're going to have Rose and Love and Devotion fighting one another. It'll be Black Army and Slavs, which you'll be watching right here. And then it'll be Eden versus Were Clowns as well they will be fighting. So a lot of the EU1 and EU2 teams are in this uh, Group B. So that will be really interesting to see how that goes today. Um, and then after that, we'll be pretty much good to go. Whoa. I've got a, I've got another stream on tonight as well. We will be watching later on today um, after this one and um, potentially moving on to the next fight, which is... What is my next one, actually? The good point. The next one is an NA one. So that's going to be... There's a... I don't know if anybody's seen it. If you're in the games or you're taking part yourself... Definitely look out for it because it's going to be good fun. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be advertised. Who's doing what? Where we're doing it? Um, who's like all the all the all the great battles? It's going to be it's going to be really good to see all the strong strong players with their strong units and their own way of playing. Uh, where was this thing that it was meant to look at here? That's the schedule. So this a. Uh, this is obviously the 6th of March, so this is the first round. There's a round next week, on, it's every Sunday, um, so March 13th, March 20th, March 27th, and then your last round, round 5, is uh, April the 3rd, and then you have the finals day, which is going to be on April the 10th. So we've got pretty much a month of this, guys, to come and uh, tune into throughout the whole month. It'll be every Sunday, and it'll be starting from about the same time, and going throughout the evening, um, so make sure you, you get involved. Um, I don't know where Van Blade is, but at this point in time, I'm going to have to get started very soon. So. Hey there, Crocs, how are you doing? Are you available? Hello, hello, hello. Where are you? <laughs> There we go. Right. I'm good, good, good. Just tell me a little bit about yourselves and the Black Army as it is just now before we get in their way tonight. Well, the team were formed under, um, it's been made out of a raid. And we like freestyling, bro. Nice, nice. We have a, we have a fifth trap, but we, have you, like have you... we like the chaos. Yeah, have you guys been putting in some practice into it? Have you just been looking into what oh, you'll yeah. be doing? Or yeah, good stuff. Good We've stuff. been screaming Hello, a lot. Hello, guys. Hello, Van Blade. How are you doing? Um, Fine. We, we prepare. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. I take it you got my message as well about the, the code for uh, getting into the battle, yeah? I sent you mm -hmm. in the uh, message. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, Van Blade, do you tell me a little bit about Slavs? About Slavs, what I can say, it's a mix. Uh, two nas nation, uh, Polish guys and the Czech. We we uh, we have guys from uh, EU two, EU five, old 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 servers. Uh, so we we in uh, all holes uh, legacy of the Slavs. Nice, nice. Um, so out of curiosity, obviously there's a ban each per house uh, for for each team. And uh, which te which who banned what here? They banned oh, Javkav, oh. we banned Madalv. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I actually thought it'd be you, Necrox, that was banning Madalv, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, 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 we it's did. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> every, every rank is on this map. It's uh, fucking spam, uh, old riders, yeah, and we, we banned it in this unit. Yeah. Because it, it's cancer, it's cancer. <laughs> it can be pretty mad. Um, how are you, are you guys all set then as well, Ben Fanblade, for this fight tonight? Have you been practicing much at all um, on the lead up to it? Uh, uh, we practice on this map maybe two times, uh, three times. Yeah, there's a, the, the good thing about this, the whole concept is obviously you, you're not really planning your own map. Um, it's just everybody's getting to do every single map. So you literally have an option. You might have a one that you've played multiple times and then you might have ones in there that you've not practiced. I'm not even tried. So you might have to get in trying it if you can. But 
Um, it's going to be interesting kind of concept how you're getting to fight in every single battle and every other team in the in your league sort of system, which obviously is going to be an interesting strategy to see how it works out. And obviously, uh, a wins what your kind of goal is to get. A draw is good, but you know it's not as good as getting that full three points victory. So good luck to both sides, and uh, I'll let you go into your respect for teams and get your teams organised and set up ready for the battles. Um, and I'll catch you maybe later on after you finish the battle. Yeah, so there we go. See you after the battle. See you after the battle. So yeah, good luck. Yeah, good Very luck, man. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, it's going to be interesting then. We've got so Black Army already set up. As you can see, they are clearly ready for this. Black Army are ready. They're already in the lobby. They just need to make sure they're all on the right side because Salamanders just got lazy. Can I... Uh, swap sides? There we go. Black Salamanders. I can't, I can't even tell. Like, no idea who's on what team... Who's fighting who at this point is legit. All down to me, hoping for the best, waiting to see what happens. And uh, we'll, we'll have to kind of watch how it all goes out here from there. Phil 15 is ready from Black Army. We are They are good to go. All we need. Black Army on the attack, first of all, for Walfort. Like we said earlier as well, guys, in chat, Modal and Outriders are the bands for this battle. And, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Warfor is done here. Just hoping that everybody has their thing we are ready to go. Cast an area, let's see, there we go. Go Black Army. <laughs> now tell, I'm looking forward to your guys' matches and stuff as well tonight. That'll be an interesting one. I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be a good fight. General Combo, good luck, have fun. Belicious, just stone, thank you for the follows as well, guys. Remember, 10 minutes delay as well, so if it does come up and do miss it, I'm sorry, I apologize. I also apologize for any chat that I may miss and not get involved in here as well. I'm sorry. Please no zoom in bombings. <laughs> Under how I will try not to zoom in bombings. I will try to remember the keys and figure out what I'm doing at the right time and figure out where the pushes are so you can get to see a better view. This is the plan, right? Don't hold me against me. It's the first time doing this in a while of controlling the camera, okay, because we've not been doing that. For the last battles and the last previous thing was in any CBL, we don't have control over it. So hopefully this time round, I will. Yo, ready for 28? Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the OG clan. I appreciate it. So we have 15 on one side, we have 12 on the other, we are ready, we are waiting. I will have to find out when everybody is ready. That is the next thing. Oh, sugar and spice. Can we vote for the winner? We can, we can definitely start a vote for the winner. Right, let's say, uh, let's create a, f a vote for the winner, boys. We'll do that. We'll do that for you guys in chat. Let 
we will start up a little reward view rewards here we go and we will start it channel points and we want to do Good luck, have fun, Negrox. Good luck, have fun. For some reason, I can't start a prediction. I don't know what's going on with my computer, but it's freezing out on me. Come on, create a prediction. Give me the option to create a prediction here, game. Come on, stream. Right, we will, we will manage and start a prediction, boys. Black army or Slavs? There we go. Start prediction, boys. Prediction is underway. You can get ready. Casa rules equals no zooming bombings. <laughs> I'll say ready. See if they're ready, boys. Make sure everybody's ready before we get underway. If we are, we will get receive a message loud and clear. We will start. Necrox is ready. There's a one sound. Go Black Army, go! Get the predictions in, guys. Get your predictions in. Who's going to win tonight's first battle? Black Army on the attack for Walfort. Defense, we have Slavs. Okay, we are going to start the battle right now, boys. Good luck. Have fun. Battle is about to begin. We are about to begin. Let's get it underway. Let's make sure I get the thingways all sorted when we first start the battle. Go, Slavs. Go, go, go. Let's go. <laughs> Black Army. Good to see you boys. That's what Your I want to see. Good to see you. Your things in chat, mentor. Thank you for the strong, follow. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate people. it. First battle underway. We have Black Army, Walfort versus the Slavs from EU2. They say it's a mixed bag though. Like you can see here we have a nice setup of the different units. Modal's banned and Flamers, uh, like Javcab are banned guys. So as you can see, we won't see any of that. Lots of Shorsars on the sides of Slavs uh, along with a few Musket players and Mauls as well. Three Pike players as well. Interesting, interesting. On the attack, we have a lot of Mauls. And short swords once again, and a couple couple of little range classes here. You've got a couple of muskets and only one pike on the attack. Um Salamanders there, Ben Stark. Great players, Necrox. I know and I've played with it for a while now over on NA server. Now we moved over to EU1. Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to the chat. Remember, there is a 10 minute delay, so we will be missing out from me. There's no artillery as well, guys. So even though they've got artillery pieces, there will be no artillery used today. So if we see that, that will be a bannable offence and technically you will take a loss and a big loss on that battle. Um, and if they use the units that are banned, that is also a disqualification. So we will keep an eye out, always paying attention, but seems like we are good for now. Just they can use the artillery that is on the map and that is it. Obviously Trebs on the attack they have as well. And let's go. We'll go Z, we'll go up and up and up and up and up and up. And we'll take the tab map down as well. We will close these a second as well. And oh, as you can see, guys, Slavs from the very get go are coming out of the front gate here with cavalry. You have deja vu. And slat knob obviously going straight around the side here, trying to wipe the units here at the very, very start. Very interesting strategy. Everybody's trying to break into this wall. Look at this. This is what we want to see. Some 
straight off battles of two pike players from the Slavs coming in on the back, but there is range units that are in there, and they're all realizing that they're losing out here. Necrox is down. Captain Team Captain is down straight away from the start. You've got a couple of Cav charges in here from Armagers. This is a very nice wee start here. Deja Vu is taken down by Essie, and the guys have lost all their Cav. Deja Vu. Oh, there's another hero down as well. Kako is being taken down, but now that is the retreat from the Slavs. Slavs will make their way back across to the bridge and uh, slowed them down enough to stop them getting up on the wall. Shepo Chef is down as well. He's got and he's down to Fomaros there and then the rest of them are climbing up the wall. We'll zoom out here and see what's going on in the bridge here. Um, as you can see Yu Wong has held open the gate so nobody can get out there. He has his halberdiers, uh, well the lanch necks in the gate holding that off Well, we sort of push up the bridge. Bridge is underway though. This is going to be the, the forceful push. Are they going to take the bridge down? Is the bridge coming down is the question. From here, as you can see, quite a quite a good chance here. Units on the other end of the bridge. Silent Wraith is out of the fight just now. He has just been taken out by Zaku. I don't know where these fights are going on. I can't even see heroes, but you've got Deja and Yu Wong trying to fight there back through the gateway. But people have been, have been a few deaths here. Good stuff from this very start. So bridge is down, which means it is a change of plan here for Black Army. They're going to have to change things up a bit. They can't no longer go there. The siege towers are still making their way towards the wall. One of only one available at this point in time. So Yu Wong still holding out as long as he could down at the front gate here. As you can see, Yu Wong just battling, just battling, just battling. Right there we go. We'll go more aerial here for a second, just so we can see a wider strategy view here of this. As you can see though. Just using the artillery that's on the map, trying to take out as much as they can. But the siege tower here, is it going to reach? It is very close. But Kazaki, Zurichon and Bodyfest all jump down here to take the units out to slow that push down. Can they take it down? Muskets are fighting in the wall as well. They're trying to bomb it as much as they can. All the artillery has been taken out now and no longer can take the siege tower down. Gate has been closed as well. And uh, yeah, boys are trying to fight as hard as they can to stop it. Kuakao is down. We're going to go down to the wall here a little bit better here so you can see Surokon has been taken out here as well. So a couple of heroes down on the Slav side of things but it has slowed the push of that siege tower. Very interesting. I don't think they are going to close it down though. We do have some Jav trying to take out the siege. Oh, and it has it's took it out just at the very last second. That's a great, great slowdown method here but the far right siege tower seems to be the way forward here as you can see the rotation say a full rotation set here from the whole black army side siege tower on the far right has reached and is underway and then we're going to zoom in onto this part here because this is going to be the major fight here as you can see boys are retreating from slavs they're taken away from the wall they don't want to lose units straight away obviously the treb is in play and now it's just a full push on this right hand side wall with slavs trying to defend just a couple of units up there that are going to stay there. The majority of the players will keep their units away from the top end because it's definitely not what you want to be defending against with Trebs. And once they all set up here, we'll see what happens. Fort Abrasios and plenty of Fort Abrasios and Lanchnecks all set up for this push forward here. But as you can see, we have... Got more units from Slavs coming around the back. A lot of them hidden in the back here, but also being pummeled in the back from the units in the back here. We've got some Namcan archers in the back. And then when it comes to the grand scheme of units here, there comes the push from Black Army. Now they are moving all of your units, and as you can see, six heroes deaths. Oh, hero kill. Six hero kills on the side of a uh, Black Army. Versus the two. But I need to move this out of the way because this thing just gets in the way. I got into silent laugh just now. And we'll zoom out here. Big push on the home point here. On the A point is the first push. Lots of units pushing in. We've got flamers in the back here. Fort Abrasio all set up. There will be trebs incoming, I'm sure. Trebs will be used here at this point in time. We've got quite a lot of units all snacked up at the back here. But nothing in this point of time is getting used in the push. 
Here comes the Trebs now that we warned, which is dangerous at the back there. Does take out a lot of the units in the back. But Black Army's units are whittling down, and there is a good pushback here from Slav. Slav's forcing the Black Army units and heroes back. Well, Kazuku or <laughs> dies down to the ground here. Black Army being pushed to the very back. Falconetti's at the back here, which are going to be taken out from the Slavs. They force their units. Iron Reapers coming along. And that is a very, very good wipe from the Slavs. Trebs inbound. Will this Treb take out some units here in the background here? As you can see, they are slowly pushing the units and heroes back. But Slavs won't overcommit it because hey, there is no need for an overcommit here. This is a good defense. Units have got chance to go back down. Oh, hi boys, hi boys, hi boys. Good stuff, Gumo. Last person to die there, and as you can see, well, now we've got a little break in the in the unit traits here. We will have a look here, as you can see. Now with the hero kills, we have Slavs with eleven hero kills now. Ten hero kills for the Black Army, but unit wise, Slavs still have one thousand and fifty four units against eight hundred and seventy one units of the Black Army. There is still twelve. Trebs available in this and they will be keep coming up this side of the map as you can see Slavs building their uh, Defensive systems back up as they went to heal and get their units back to full health as much as possible They will be back in here as you can see we have some palace guards here. We've got some IPGs Coming from the black army side and then we've got some more IPGs More IPGs is that some woodcutters? That's what we want to see potentially but uh, Black, uh, oh, palace guards there as well. Necklock's baiting the treb there, but the treb is moved out of the way. Not you know, much done in terms of that treb there. Um, but black army set up once again on this far right hand side wall. Well, black uh, army push slavs are kind of holding back just now. Still waiting them on down with some jab, waiting around the back here. Trebs are pre trebed obviously from black army as they push forward to that point, hoping that units push on. And it does do quite a good job there, as you can see. We do get a good wee push going forward here. Tony in the midst of things with Silent Wraith up front there, trying to force the units back. There's only 1 minute 45. They have to get onto this point, and they have to push this point here. They have blocked off the Slavs there with Fort Abrashi on the right-hand side while they push this point. But Trebs incoming. That's down to 9 Trebs left. But Slavs are not giving up this wall. They have lots of units pushing forward onto the point. With 1 minute and 27 seconds left, we are very close to this. How is your predictions, guys? This is where we're going to find out what happens here on the predictions. The Treb is coming in again. Good fight on the home point. One Maul is holding his own there on the back. You've got Suricon on the point with... Oh, Lance Neck Charge coming through. That's going to hold the point for that a little bit longer. We have another 1 minute left to hold out for the Slavs. They have got Jav at the back. They've got Falconetti. Spamming through it, but all of the Black Army units seem to have been whittled away. They are down. There is no units left for this push. Well, players are going down. Silent Rave goes down there. Tony is trying to force himself onto the cap. There is 40 seconds left. There is almost no time left for the cap here. Slavs have defended so valiantly on the point there. And as you can hear, some Cav A is now being capped, but Fizzy, I don't think, has the time. If we can get some units onto that point for one second, I think that is it. an easy win here for the Slavs. Seven Trez are still available left on this attack, but as you can see, 780 units on the defense versus 477 units from Black Army. Cavalry is now going out of the point now. Now we are just going off and showing off here. What, what units have we got out here? This is what is this Keshix? We've got lots of Keshix going out, wiping up the unit as Juggerson goes down. Yuwang's dead. Siberia's off the wall, and here comes more sets of Cav. And that is all she wrote, boys. Red team wins, which means the Slavs are the winners of that first battle. As you can see, Matt on the defensive sides. Uh, we've got General Combo with a free hero kills, 14 assists. Look at that, smashing it in the assisted. That musket player doing some work. Uh, Gumo with four hero kills as well. And Zaku with five hero kills. A good fight for them. Uh, over on the defensive sides. A really difficult thing. Matt did a good job of getting four hero kills and the nine assists. Tony with ten assists as a short sword. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult one that is. It's a difficult one. Um, good fight all in all from everybody there. But as you can see, it was dominated from this 
little calf run out at the start. 720p, dude. I mean, I'm not a partner, mate. I don't get any higher than that. I'm sorry. That's all you're going to be able to get from me. <laughs> if you, if I was a partner, maybe you would get more. But we don't, we don't get seven higher than 720, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, lots of the fight was on A. Um, once they, they took the bridge out, it had to force Black Army and to go into the Treb and the, what, the Siege Tower on this far right-hand side because other Siege Towers were taken out. But because they were all forced into that one direction, Slavs knew where to position their units in the defence. And yeah, it was a fantastic battle. Um, good fight all in all. I'm going to have to set up for the next battle. It's going to be the other way around. So we're going to be doing another wall fort fight here. And we're going to see Slavs.